What's good, guys? I have a little touch of a sore throat still, but I'm good. Uh, it's actually tonsillitis. This story came out 12 minutes ago from TMZ, and it kind of shocked me, the headline. Ikea menu. Fried chicken and watermelon to honor Juneteenth. Really, guys? Ikea is under fire after one of its stores in Atlanta allegedly listed fried chicken and watermelon as menu items for its employees to supposedly honor Juneteenth. The furniture giant reportedly sent an email to employees last week alerting them that, quote, to honor the perseverance of black Americans and acknowledge the progress yet to be made, end quote, it was also going to roll out a special menu. Now here's that menu. It says Juneteenth. To honor the perseverance of black Americans, that's what I just read, since we will also be showcasing a compilation of videos in honor of Juneteenth. Look out for a special menu on Saturday, which will include fried chicken, watermelon, macaroni and cheese, potato salad, collard greens, and candied yams. And that's where Ikea dropped the ball big time because the so-called special menu, again, for a holiday commemorating the end of slavery included fried chicken, watermelon, mac and cheese. Some of those items, of course, perpetuate racial stereotypes. An employee who wished to remain anonymous told CBS 46, quote, you cannot say serving watermelon on Juneteenth is a soul food menu when you don't even know the history. They used to feed slaves watermelon during the slave time, end quote. The outrage, outrage led to 20 employees calling out from work. Word that workers were furious quickly began to spread at the store and it ultimately reached the store manager, who sent out another internal email apologizing. The menu was ultimately altered to include cornbread, mashed potatoes, and meatloaf. An anonymous employee reportedly said none of the co-workers who sat down to create the menu was black, but we reached out to Ikea and a spokesperson refutes that, saying there was black co-workers involved, but it offered no further details. The spokesperson added, quote, We value our co-workers' voices and changed the menu after receiving feedback that the foods that were selected are not reflective of a deeply meaningful traditional foods of the deeply meaningful traditional foods historically served as part of Juneteenth celebrations. We got it wrong and we sincerely apologize, end quote. As we've reported, President Biden signed Juneteenth into law last week, making it the 12th federal holiday. I was absolutely disgusted when I read this. I was like, come on, Ikea. Um, <laughs> like, what do you even do with that? I don't blame the workers for calling in. I really don't. That's like a slap in the face. And everybody knows that. Come on, man. Everybody knows that. It's that same old racial stereotype bullshit that they keep perpetuating. And I'm so sick of it. Uh, but I had to bring this story to the channel. And I will be bringing a lot of stories to the channel today. So try to keep up, guys. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.